Hey guys, everything new on the sun. I want to talk to you today about GMRS FRS radios. Uh, now, communications, when uh, things uh, get bad, potentially, or during any disaster, hurricane, flood, whatever, there may be a communications breakdown, and having some FRS, having some radios, even these cheap family radio service radios, walkie-talkies as they are known, could come in handy, you never know. Um, the thing about these is, uh, so I got these from Canadian Tire. Uh, these two were about, I, I think, $130 plus tax. Uh, they're not the cheapest ones, uh, but they are 40 mile range FRSs, um, and, which is about 65 kilometers, uh, 65 kilometers. Now, the thing about these is they never go as far as you think they will. Um, you won't probably won't get 65 kilometers range out of it. In fact, I'm pretty sure you will not. Um, that is all about line of sight. If you're directly line of sight, no trees, no humans, no hills in the way, maybe you'll get close to 65, and I assume that's how they test it. But uh, in terms of real use scenarios, um, I was able to get, I believe, over um, about 10 kilometers, uh, and it worked fine. So that was me testing it. Uh, with with my kids uh, in our house now we're in a valley which makes it even worse and and that was me going to a couple of uh, friends locations and just seeing if if I could uh, radio uh, my kids basically from the car um, using these to see if in an emergency situation I could hand one of these off to to a friend a neighbor whatever and uh, communicate with them uh, if the power is out if the grid's down for any length of time uh, and uh, these are certainly usable now these uh, charge with uh, USB. These, these ones come with a little cradle uh, made by Uniden um, and they're, it's a little USB. Now it comes with a 120 uh, volt wall wall wart adapter um, but it is DC 5 volts 550 milliamps so you could just take any USB cable and charge these which makes them real easy for uh, solar charging. Now of course these come with your really really cheap kind of paper instructions uh, with all the details um, that's kind of standard. You're not going to get a fancy glossy manual. What's nice about these, as long as the, uh, as well as the distance that they go, is that they have a weather monitor button. I don't know if you can see uh, the center center button there, WXMON, and uh, that allows you to listen to uh, the weather. Let me go ahead and turn that on, and I'll turn on the weather monitoring. Now that's in French, uh, of course, but they, they uh, 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 go on a loop back to the English, and then you get a full English uh, forecast. So in, for an emergency purposes, if you want to know what the weather's doing, it's a hurricane, maybe the power is out, you want to know what's happening, um, the weather channel on these things uh, is great. Um, if someone has to go out to the house, uh, maybe down to the neighbors or something to get some flour, get some sugar, whatever, and you want to communicate with them just to know if they're if and when they're coming back, whatever um, you can do that. These I'm not. This isn't going to be a total full review. I'm not going to go out uh, outside and uh, test these for you, but I'll just kind of show you the features. They got the the channel up down, volume up down. Um, these will boost. There is a boost button. You can't see that because because of the uh, lighting. I apologize for that. But there's a, a regular talk button, and that uh, goes at about I think it's one watt. Uh, I may be wrong. But there's a boost button on it, uh, which will boost it up to 2 watts uh, temporarily while you're talking, so you can get extended range out of these, which is really nice. The other thing these do come with, and I don't know if I have it to show you uh, either, but it does come with the Vox headset, so you can uh, basically earbuds with a microphone on the earbud, so you can use these for, um, for example, uh, um, uh, riding motorcycle with others and being able to talk to your partner on the back of the motorcycle or, or between motorcycles, uh, whatever. So it does come with the headset and it comes with another uh, USB plug, again, which you can't see because of the light. Uh, you can't see it at all. Um, but there is a USB plug there uh, to charge them. Um, it has the uh, points for uh, contact points for charging with the cradle, obviously. Um, so that just works. Uh, you just, you just kind of sit them in there and they, they just sit in there and charge. And there is an LED on the front, uh, again, which you can't really see, uh, but that does uh, glow red.
uh, when it's charging. Um, what else to tell you about that? I got the version with the lithium ion batteries. You can get a version with a, a single lithium ion, ion battery, 3.7 volt, I believe. You can also get a version that takes three AAA batteries, so you can use rechargeable triple A's, uh, alkaline, whatever. I decided to go with the lithium. I've had real good luck with lithium. They last a long time. Um, you know, obviously, since it's rechargeable, I can plug any USB uh, cable. I use any of my USB cables and just charge these up with solar. Um, so going alkaline uh, to me doesn't make sense uh, in this day and age. So uh, that is it. Uh, if you want to be prepared, it also has you know scan uh, other uh, other standard functions, uh, and so these really work uh, very well for long range, which is kind of key for what I was wanted them for. I had another smaller set, but we had lost one of the handsets. We use this for camping as well. So when we're at a camping uh, resort and maybe the kids want to go up to the playground, I, I hook one of these on, on the kid's belt, or whatever, bicycle, uh, and, uh, and they take that up there. And then if I need to contact them or say, you know, ask them where they are, or if they get into trouble, they can, um, they can call me, um, call us, uh, you know, while we're at the camper, that sort of thing. So they're, they're usable all, all the time. There's also a light on this. So there's a, there's a light button and you can see the light. And so that's on, that's on both of them. So that's kind of handy. Uh, again, for emergency purposes, you need to know the weather. You need to stay in contact with somebody. Um, you need a little bit of a flashlight. Uh, it's very handy. A uh, flashlight on the bottom isn't obviously, you know, you're not going to use it every day, all day long. Uh, you're going to have a dedicated flashlight for that. But for a kind of a grab and go thing, emergency situation, uh, these are excellent things to have around the house. And with lithium, they can sit on the shelf for a long time without uh, discharging too much. Charge them every six months, something like that. Uh, you know, follow the instructions. But basic communications uh, device and this is something I I suggest everybody has and everybody um, you know you can get CB radios I have a CB radio but again not all friends have CB radios most friends however do have even cheap FRS's so these come in handy um, the thing is these do have privacy channels um, I haven't really used that too much I wouldn't trust that I'm sure any police scanner is able going to be able to decode whatever privacy channel you're trying to use so it's not good for encrypted conversations, um, but in a disaster scenario, you're not too worried about that. Uh, you're not trying to send secret messages unless you want to use other uh, words or whatever, uh, encrypted encrypted words, whatever, um, for your communications. But yeah, for a very emergency situation, I definitely highly recommend these. And uh, you can get these off of Amazon too, but I got these from my local Canadian Tire. But by the time uh, it was said and done with tax, $150.00. And that's not bad um, to consider the safety that comes along with it. So I thought I would show you that quick video. And uh, I'll leave it there. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video.